What is up guys? Welcome back to another video with Pokemon Master 2456. And it's been such a long time since I've done a TCG video or actually posted it. It's been about two weeks, I think. So I'm glad to back, be back and doing videos. Um, got a new box right here, the Primera GX Premium Collection Box. With four packs of Pokemon TCG cards, actually six packs of TCG cards, packs. Um, one giant, um, full art Primera GX, one small Primera GX, as you can see down here. Papa Leo, Brion, and we have a, right here in the corner, we have ourselves a Primera pen and a coin. So let's open this and get these pulls. Also, this was $40 at GameStop, if you guys were wondering. So let's get this open and see what we get. Get this open here. Also, if you guys are wondering what else box sets I have, I have two evolutions, one sun and moon, a lead trainer box, and the premium collection that I need to open for you guys. It's definitely nice to be back in the natural habitat doing videos. And having troublesome days with the box open. Literally, what did the box even do here? Oh, oops, got it. Ow, cut myself. Ah. Right. We, uh, unearthed it. Alright, let's get these packs out and start opening them. I love this set, though. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Primera, but I thought I should for some love. And, uh, just buy a primary box. Oh my lord. Ooh, this uh, giant is like so cool. Literally. I'm getting all the cards out for you guys. And then we'll open up. Let's see what we got. The pen is like the hardest to get out. Alright. First, let's look at these. Um, accessories. We have our Primera pen. A night. Camera is on. Turn on, I guess. We have our Primera pen. A shiny blue. A very nice color for the pen. Since all the pens I've almost pretty much gotten were the Pikachu ones, or like the chest pen ones, they include in like every single pack. Here's also another nice pen, the Primera GX pen, not, I mean the Primera pen. Definitely cool to go on a hat. Put that right there. The giant full art, that's a nice full art actually. Giant full art Primera GX with Bubble Blast, Roaring Seas, and Grand Echo. A really nice card right here. Um, the, of course, I have one of the best things on the channel for you guys. Um, the box itself, you guys get to have this online TCG Go code. 2DH, B7, QZ, uh, XHT, L4M. Dang, it's early, I can't see. Also, if you guys are wondering about my EX or GX collection, as me completing 120, um, actually, I think be completing 180, I think. Yeah, 180. I'm pretty close to it. I have like, I think 10 more cards I have to get, so I can probably fill it up with that and have it by the end of the summer. And we can work to our next goal, which would be 200 and something. And here is probably going to be my, fa my favorite card in the pack, the small Primera GX, Bubble Blast, Roaring Seas, and Grand Echo GX. I can actually say this would probably be the best box right now that will give you one at least one Guardians Rise, two Guardians Rising packs. And I mean, for 40 bucks, I mean, you get, you get, let's see, you get six packs of the cards, two full arts, and some pins, and some uh, regular cards, so not bad. Next up, let's take a look at the, it's the Parla? Nope. A basic hollow, Briony hollow, waste flash, and disarming voice. Fix that camera again. Let's take a look at. Papaleo. Papaleo never gets any love. Come on, guys. 
Leave a like on this video. Give Papa Leo some love. He knows pound and water gun. Alright. Next, I'm going to do it in my usual style. We go from, here in my usual style, at least on my channel. If you guys are new, I go from oldest to newest. Uh, Steam Siege came. I don't know if Evolution came after Steam Siege. No, Evolution's before Steam Siege, so. Hopefully. I'm not looking that up. But I know the oldest in a set right now is Breakthrough. So we'll open up Breakthrough. Not my uh, most favorite set. I, don't think, I like Guardian Riley. The cards in it are definitely really detailed. Some nice detailed cards, I would say. So first up, we have ourselves a Skiddo. We have Bronzor. We have Meowth. Zora. Ralts. Reverse Hollow Sand Screw. Hollow Empoleon. Oh, that's actually a cool card. Reminds me of the uh, Diamond and Pearl Empoleon. That level X of the cool card. That's a nice card to add to my set. Sand Slash. Heavy Boots. Fisherman. And a card. Uh, Online card. Pause the video if you need for that, guys. Alright. That's a cool Empoleon. I'll definitely add that one to my set. Oh, I'll add all these to my set. I don't really like when people throw away their Pokemon cards that they already have. I mean, I get trading them or selling them. But I don't really like when I throw them away. It's like a waste of cardboard and paper. And also, it's like, you just keep them. Alright, next up, we're going to head up with Evolutions. Okay, look inside this pack. Um, Evolution is the pack with uh, all those the old style cards. Oh. <laughs> I knocked on the camera. I'm so clumsy. Alright. Vulpix. We have first of all a Vulpix. A Dark Energy. Magikarp, Weedle, Electabuzz, First Hollow Magneton, or Magneton, we have a Starmie, here comes Team Rocket, <laughs> what a Jesse doing, oh my god, their eyes, um, we have a Magmar, and a Surfing Pikachu. No EXs yet, but we did get some cool hollows. I'm putting all my used cards at the side. Okay. Um, and here's the code card for you guys. Alright, next up, we're gonna go with Steam Siege. Back. First up we have a Mantine, Clink, Ponyta, Ponyard, Oshawott, oh it's so cute, a Yveltal Break, has a pricing that card before. Volcanian. Nice card. Persian. Anarith. Haluka. What a drop. Er, nothing. And code card. So no EX is yet. We still have the Sun and Moon and we still have Guardians Rising. Maybe we can pull a Hyper Rare out of one of the Guardian Risings. That'd be nice. Another Hyper Rare. Um... And probably like my most favorite card right now would probably be Hyper Rares. Their design is just so beautiful, like the rainbow design. Oh my god, those are amazing. Alright, so you guys probably have the code card by now. The Hyper Rare design is just beautiful. And the new design of Sun and Moon, I kind of enjoyed it. It's pretty decent design. 
It's definitely something over the um, 2012 design that we've had for like, what, six years? So, definitely an improvement. Let me get these other cards out of the way. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Alright, so next up, we're going to go with our Sun and Moon pack. Also, you guys excited for the, uh, leave a comment here, excited for the new expansion for, um, August. Forgot what the name was. Uh, I think it's like Burning Shadows, I'm not sure. Um, um, Necrozma, or Necrozima GX is supposed to be coming out. And that's going to be a beast card. I'll say one of my favorite Pokemon in uh, Sun and Moon. Also, still hype for Ultra Sun and Moon. Like, the design, it, it seems weird, but I guess it's cool. So, first up, we have ourselves a Popolio, Zubat, Carvana, Snubble, Wingle, a Reverse Hollow Snubble. Gold Duck, a Lightning Energy, Polipper, Timer Ball, and Pinsir. Dang, no EXs yet, guys. Except for the one, of course, it came with the GX. Maybe we can get some luck and pull some, uh, maybe we can pull two Hyper Rares in the Guardian's Rising pack. That'd be amazing. Um, did you guys get the code card? Here it is. Let's all, uh, if you're right, if you're here right now, just pause the video, leave a like, maybe that like will have me pull a hyper rare, honestly, because I want to pull a hyper rare. Alright, packs all out the way. Alright, let's see. Lycan rock or combo? We'll do Lycan rock. First up, it's going to be the Lycan rock pack for the Guardians Rising ever see. I would just say the pack with like the best pulls I got were at the or either the Primal Clash pack or um Rising. I mean, it was Rising something, I forgot the name of the set. It was from like twenty fifteen. I got like every single card of that pack, honestly. Just by pulling getting and buying the cards out of it. Alright, let's see. First up we have a Clefairy. Litwick, Gligar, Focus it. Vanillite, Mudbray, uh, Reverse Hollow Alolan Vulpix, Reverse Hollow Gudra. I've never seen this card before. For like this Gudra card, that's a cool card actually. Um, <laughs> Fairy Energy. <laughs> Dang, it's been a while. Weeping Bell, Galale, Hala, and the Coker. Dang, I forgot what a fairy energy was. It's kind of hard to tell with the design sometimes. It's like, oh, is it fairy or is it something else? Alright. I'm so generous, aren't I, guys? I just give you guys all my online code cards. You guys probably pull better things than me, honestly. If you use them, and you pull better things than me, tell me, honestly. I think some of you guys pull better things than me, honestly. I do have pretty good luck in pulls, though. I mean, when people when I tell people I have, like, over 140 EXs and, like, GXs, like, mixed in, they're like, that's pretty good. And I'm like, yeah. I guess it is. Like, I'm a collector. I don't really battle with them. I could. I mean, I have way more than I need to battle. Um, I just don't battle with my cards, honestly. I prefer to keep them in more mint condition. All my cards are pretty much either sealed up somewhere or in a binder. Or if some right now laying on my tabletop because I don't have any room for them, so that's a deck box just for now. You don't pick up a deck box. Not sure. Alright, then maybe we can get a hyper rare. I'm praying for a hyper rare or an EX right now. If not, then we got some cool. Reverse hollows, and we got a primary GX. So let's take it slow. Nose pass. Cast form. 
Phantom. Tallow. Whalmer. First Hollow Curtinator. Wow, that's a cool card. Alolan Golem. Lightning Energy. Pseudo Wudo. Field Blower. And Choice Fan. Okay, so no other EXs or GXs. Still not a bad pack. Alright, there's a code card. Hope you guys enjoy that code card. Still not a bad pack because, I mean, look at this card. Hold on. A Lolan Golem. Let's just take it. Let's just analyze this card for a minute. Uh, 168 be okay, not bad. Electromagnetic Rock Wrecker. Flip a coin for each um, lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each heads. So essentially, um, each lightning energy it would do 80 damage for each of the heads you attack. So it's one lightning energy and 80 damage if you got heads. Okay, Heavy Slam. Basically does 200, or minus, it could be less. So this attack does 30 less damage for each normal uh, for each retreat and your about say <laughs> this attack does 30 less damage for each retreat and your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost. So basically, if your if your opponent had like five retreats or four retreats, it would do that much less damage. But if they had no retreats, it could do essentially 200 damage. So that'd be amazing, especially in the uh, TCG. I could see where this card would definitely be great at. Um, against steel types and a couple other types, honestly. This card could be really good. I'm actually gonna see if I, I don't know, I don't know where my sleeves are, but if I had sleeves on me right now, I'd totally save this card up. This is an amazing card actually guys. And we got this Asuda Wudu, wasn't bad. And we got a Terminator, not bad either. Nice design. I kinda like Hollow Rooster. They have a shiny design, but it's like not too much. But I definitely like this Alolan Golem. That's actually really cool. I'm kind of happy I pulled that. And I actually started, like, I talked a little bit louder in this video because I'm doing it in the middle of the day. So I hope you, that was like one of the complaints of like all my videos I know. So I do hope you guys like, like that about it. And I hope you guys get some good pulls from these code cards right here that I gave in the video. Um, I do have more Pokemon TCG videos coming up. You guys know I also do post. So now it's on my channel Gaming and Nightcore if you're new. Make sure you subscribe if you like that type of stuff. Um, I have the Scissor EX box I have to open next video. And then my other videos, like, leading up to my birthday, because I'm gonna buy some stuff on my birthday for Pokemon. Um, but right now, I have two, like, three Elite, tra elite Trainer boxes in the Super Premium Collection. And also, as you guys know, I won't be unboxing that. I was like, I'm trying to decide if I want to unbox the Super Premium Collection or leave it box because it's about a $200 now. But as you guys know, I won't ever be opening that Elite Trainer box for generations. Honestly, I know there's going to be probably good stuff inside, but I want to leave it sealed. And maybe open up, maybe I'll open it up like someday in the future, like 20 years, 20 years later. I don't know. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It's the button at the bottom, you know, to get future videos. Tap that bell icon so you get updates about my videos. And you can also um, see when I live stream. I'm live streaming more frequently. Um, leave a like on this video. Comment if you enjoy. Comment what your favorite Pokemon is. You know, just comment if you want to talk, okay? And thank you guys, as always, for watching. And remember to keep catching them all. Bye, guys. Have a great day.